month we've learned that even though you may be young, God gives you a mission. And His mission is that you tell His story through your words and your actions. In order to do this with power and conviction, God gives us the Holy Spirit. And then in addition, God gives us everything we need. And when we face obstacles, God will protect our hearts and our minds. And when it seems like there is nothing we can do, we realize we can help others when we simply pray. So that's our lesson today, is learning that we can help others when we pray. Hey everyone, I have a question. Ready? Okay, here goes. How did you get here today? Do you know the answer? Did you walk? Did you ride in a car? Jump on a bus? Get on a boat? A plane? A horse? I don't know about you, but whenever I'm going on a journey, I like to say a prayer and ask God to keep me safe. But that's not the only time I pray. We can pray anywhere, anytime, and about anything. Praying is really easy. When we pray, we talk to God. We can tell God how our day is going. We can say thank you for the good things that we have. And we can ask God for help when we need it. All throughout the Bible, we're told that we can pray anytime and anywhere. God loves hearing what we have to say. And not only can we pray about things for ourselves, but God says we can go and pray for others as well. Like if your friend is sick, you can pray for them. Or if someone loses a pet, you can pray for them too. If someone you know needs something like food or a place to live, you can even pray for them. The Bible tells us that our prayers are powerful. Jesus said that when we pray, God hears us and listens to what we ask. When Jesus was here on earth, he told his friends, the disciples, to pray for others, and he's telling us to do the same. Jesus wants to help the people you pray for. So next time you see someone who is sad or hurt, remember, I can help others when I pray. So let's go. In Acts 12, 1 through 17, Peter was telling people about Jesus, which was a good thing to do, but some people didn't like that, so they put Peter in jail. Peter's friends didn't know how to help, so they gathered together and they prayed. God heard their prayers and he sent an angel to set Peter free. Everybody was so happy that God had answered their prayers. So when we pray and we talk to God, the Bible tells us to pray, asking Jesus for help and to help others. You can ask him to help someone who is sick and not feeling good. You can ask him to help someone who's just sad. You can even ask him to feed someone who's very, very hungry. You can help others when you pray. Let's say this balloon represents God's power. And these tissue papers are my prayer request. I want to pray for Pastor Peter and Pastor Mike. When we give our prayers to God, wow! They immediately become His, and He's powerful enough to hold them and help us. Hey moms and dads, so I will go ahead and link the memory verse song. I will link a couple worship songs for you guys. And then as far as a craft, why don't you go ahead and fold a sheet of paper in half. It can be uh, construction paper, any sort of uh, fun paper. Fold it in half on the, on the fold, then trace each family member's hand, cut it out, decorate it, and then write I can help others when I pray. And then on the inside, write the people's names that you want to pray for or be reminded to pray for. So for us, it's Carol and Stephen. It's our moms and dads, our neighbor Kaysen, our cousin Zeke. So we want to remember to pray for those people every time we see this card. So explain that to your kids. Every time they look at the card, it reminds us to pray anytime, anywhere, for anyone, and that God will listen. Um, we have two activities that you can do. One is called Catch a Prayer, 
and you toss a ball to each other. And whoever catches the ball names someone who they say a prayer of thanks for. So I am thankful for, and then fill in the blank. Um, and then the other game is called Hopping Prayers, and you can designate four different areas. They can be hula hoops, or you can use cardboard boxes, or cones, whatever, however way you want to designate that. Have your children hop the, to those areas, and when they get there, each place has a special thing to pray for. So, uh, first place, um, pray for someone's happiness. The second place, pray for someone's health. Um, the third place, pray for someone's need of food or shelter. And then the fourth one, pray for someone that you think might need to feel Jesus' love or experience Jesus' love in their heart. And then explain like, we can pray for anyone and, and God does something with that. He does something more powerful with it than we could do on our own. So with that, guys, I hope that you have a really great weekend. Next month, we will be starting a whole new series for the month of June. I look forward to introducing that series to you guys next week. Some families are big. Some families are small. God's grace keeps our family one and all.